My name is Samia Das. I'm a staff electrophysiologist. I see patients who have arrhythmia problems. Um, I do procedures on some of these patients, including implantations of devices like pacemakers or defibrillators. Um, and then most of my time is spent doing research. This is fusion from the CS when we're just trying to get return cycles. Yeah. I try and understand the biology of how heart cells communicate with other cells and how disease processes within heart cells are manipulated by molecules called microRNAs and ultimately how these can be used to improve our ability to predict how patients do after a heart attack. It's an exciting new area of research, one that has evolved from some uncertainty about what these microRNAs actually mean uh, in the blood to one where people think that they might actually be, be playing a biological function. In the last decade, patients who come in with rushing chest pain and heart attacks had stents to open up the blocked arteries. And then there's a waiting period to see how they do. Some of these patients want to have heart failure. Some of these patients can have lethal arrhythmias. But we won't know these things until they actually have development of these symptoms. So the hope is that if we can get these microRNAs to predict who's going to have it in the future, then we could either uh, slow the progression of these diseases or hopefully uh, prevent things like sudden death. You can let go of the fist. We're going to initially look at blood from patients who have done remarkably well or patients who have done very poorly. And we'll do a discovery using a procedure called RNA sequencing, which will tell us which microRNAs in the blood are different between patients who do really well and patients who, who do poorly. And the second step is to use the MICE model to validate uh, some of these microRNAs, see if they really hold up, to see which microRNAs are changing with disease, and then come up with five or 10 microRNAs that pass all these tests to test in a much larger clinical cohort of 4,000 patients who've had a heart attack and who've been followed for uh, up to a year for development of arrhythmias and heart failure. Ultimately, we will wanna be able to say these particular microRNAs predict patients who are going to die suddenly. And these particular microRNAs are going to be able to predict patients who have heart failure after a heart attack. And so we'd be able to target those patients more specifically and ultimately improve clinical outcomes. Heart failure is one of the worst diagnoses you can have. Even with all the modern day treatments that we have, the mortality from heart failure approaches that of most cancers. So after your first diagnosis of heart failure, the mortality is almost 42% at five years. Clearly this is an area where we need to be able to diagnose disease earlier to prevent progression and have new therapeutic tools that would treat patients who haven't responded well to medications and devices that would be not only cost saving for society but I think an improvement in current care for patients.